A Ralph and Marco rectangle. I've been making Kamayan, like the traditional Filipino feasts, for about a year and a half now. And we wanted to bring different people from our communities, like our friends, and um, especially with like kind of what's going on with the world and um, the times right now, like a very diverse group of folks, different ages, different genders, different cultures, and just really break bread. So real quick before we start, just a little intro. We always like to be a little not like butter. I'll be like, I'm Ray, right? And then just one thing in your life that you have like a lot of love for, but you have to make a motion for what that is. Ray, I'm really thankful for her. You go, Ray. Ray. And then give it back to me. <laughs> 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 you can that love with me. My name is Noah, and I'm grateful for my family. Oh, Noah. Just since this is like breaking bread with everybody, but let's just take a moment to just try to greet every single person. Just connect and say hi before we, we feast together. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy. Enjoy the feast. Tommy. 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 Good man, how are you? Yeah. Great, great feast. Thank you. You as well. Yeah. So this is like kind of like a passion project of ours called Rectangle. Uh, we created this because we wanted to just people get back together again like after college we all went our separate ways so this is was kind of our way of reconnecting with everyone and it slowly just grew bigger beyond our circle of friends to include everyone here you know this is just as much for us as it is for you all Marco you'll go through the dishes please eat though yeah you guys yeah, you all can start eating y'all can start eating yeah, yeah. 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 so <laughs> what, what this is called is called Kamayan, and so Kamayan in Tagalog means hands. So that's why you don't see any utensils in front of yourself, and you're gonna use your what you're born with utensils, uh, and kind of just go after it. Basically, this is sort of like a family style, traditional way of eating uh, with family. And if you look to your left and your right, they may not be your family, but that's okay because we wanted to recreate this experience with people from different communities, so they can all come together and feel like family. <laughs> Yes. Freestyle. Yes. And with a theme of a little bit about food and culture in the ice. Go ahead. Drop food that. Food and culture. Okay. <clears throat> uh, food and culture. What it means to me. I see so many beautiful faces. It's so nice to see. We all here enjoying and we all come together. Rain and sunny night shine in any weather. It's so amazing when it's coming from your heart. I saw all of the dishes, didn't know where to start. I took it here and here and I put it all apart and then I threw it in my mouth and mm, that's the best part. And then I drink it down with some water and some Coca-Cola, but then why even bother if I'm going in for seconds and I kill it in the seconds? Let me teach you here a lesson because I'm going to get it over and over. I mean, the food was so bomb. That's the 42nd freestyle from your boy Arvon. 